Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time y'all watch this, man, it's Marquis from Boston. What's good, hip hop? How y'all doing, man? We're going to North Kakalaki. We're going to Wilson, North Carolina. We're going to visit an artist named JR. And uh, he put out a little six pack, fully produced by Clipto Beats with the Z at the end. It's called the Sarah. Let me break down what the Sarah means. Come on, man. You got to do that. The Sarah is an individual tile, kind of like your bathroom tile. Just picture that. Uh, usually formed in the shape of a square, used in creating a mosaic. All right. Now, basically, let me give you a breakdown of what all this means. So this EP is just a, a like a, a, a tile, uh, like a, a partial tile, right? It's a partial tile. Just make, like I said, imagine your, your bathroom tile. It's a little piece. It's a little square. Uh, so it's basically a partial. It's a glimpse of the artist's uh, lifetime work. Uh, of art, like in ancient Greece and Rome, uh, where they display beautiful individual tiles that make up priceless works of art. So that one tile, meaning this EP, is just a, a fraction of his his uh, his uh, overall work and and everything that he's going to create in the long run. So everything you know that this is a piece of art connected to this piece of art. So the next EP, the next album. So eventually, when he finishes. Uh, with hip hop, you're gonna see a beautiful, a beautiful uh, quality of work, uh, and that's basically what he what he's talking about. So I, I like this man. I like I like I like the I like the title. I like the way he's uh you know word. He's a wordsmith man. So let's get into it, man. This came out uh, November twelfth, uh, two thousand twenty one. About sixteen minutes and thirty six seconds. Just a quick joint. Give us give us a little preview. Loss. I know he's working on an album, so he gave us a little six pack. You know what I'm saying? Being a six pack, I need to do some sit ups, you know what I'm saying? But number one, unfinished mosaics, all right? Now, he's playing off what I just described. Now, this, a troop of orchestrated sounds likely to overshadow JR's vocal performance if you don't have a keen listening club ear, listening club. Like, this beat kind of overshadows his voice a little bit, but you can, if you're listening to the lyrics and you're a lyrical, your person that likes lyrics, you're gonna his lyrics is piercing through there, and you can kind of hear it. But that that beat does kind of over oversaturate a little bit, just a little bit, man. And I was like, hey, I want to hear his, I want to hear his lyrics, man. I want to hear his lyrics, you know what I'm saying? So, but uh, MC is very quotable and uh, rhyme worthy of top ten uh, in 2021 rappers. What do you guys think, man? He's been uh, on the scene for quite some time. He splashed on the scene, you know, with Ransom and Shay Noor and and Numbs and Furious Styles and like, you know, you know, I am God. He's like got a great circle of, of, of people that he's working with. And he's he's awesome. He's an awesome, awesome guy. So let's get into it, man. Like I said, it's fully produced by Klepto Beats. That was number one. Number two, uh, yo, and bear with me, because these names might go over your head. So number one, number two is uh Abacalus, I believe, featuring King James. Shout out to King James. King James, another lyrical MC that's in the works to be like one of one of these top tier MCs, man. He's doing his thing, loving King James. Now, this song right here, familiar elements that I cannot remember. It sounds like familiar. You know, the beat sounds familiar. I'm like, yo, I heard this beat before, but he's, he's probably like using samples to something I heard in the past. Uh, you know, um, I've heard similar sounds, uh, but um, I like it. I like the blend. You know what I mean? King James is a solid MC that has uh, hip hop looking, you know, we're like, King James, we're looking and listening to King James, you know what I'm saying, whenever he, whenever he drops or if he's on a feature, you know what I'm saying, and JR just an incredible, incredible wordsmith, like I said, um, most of these, like I said, it's 16 minutes, so most of the tracks are probably like two minutes, two minutes, 30 seconds, just enough time to tell us and show us what they're about, especially JR. Number three, uh, it's called the Maduba, or Madaba, is this Madaba? The Madaba, I believe. Uh, Madaba map featuring Phil V. Phil V, uh, heavy horn jazz record that has JR flipping like Simone Biles with acrobatic lyrical motor uh, coordination. Phil V is um, shaping up to be uh, uh, an MC I'm going to start listening for. I, I'm listening, I, this is like my first time hearing, I'm like, yo, this dude was dope. So I kind of, you know, backtracked. I went into his catalog a little bit, and I'm saying, okay, this guy's kind of nice. He's nice. All right, I gotta, I gotta deep, dig deep more into uh, um, Phil V's catalog, and and uh, and you guys should do the same thing as well. Um, but yeah, man, loving it, loving it, and uh, I'm craving more bars from both of these MCs and from 
uh, the numerous MCs that's on this. He's picking a lot of solid MCs to join him uh, on his project. Loving it. Uh, number four, M. Bluma. I believe it's M. Bluma featuring King James, Q. Ham, and I Am God. This jam is fire. Now, let me get to the description of this song. Loving the sudden, relaxing uh, tone of the track. While each individual MC sharpens their swords, listen, JR starts the calm track with continuous, helpful, and highlighted lyrics, all right? King James lyrically contain like impressive uh, bars over and over. Every time I listen to King James, I'm like, yo, this dude is nice, man. So keep it up, King James, loving your style, your charisma, and your wordplay. Uh, Q Ham. Never heard of Q Ham. I'm going to dive into your material as well. Q Ham is nice. And uh, like I said, I'm going to have to tap into you, man. And I already know, uh, and I'm a huge fan of I Am God. I actually interviewed him, so go check out that interview. And I reviewed uh, another one of his albums as well with Custom Made. Um, so check this out, yo. Check out all these MCs, man. They came to... They ain't come to play. Let's put it there. They came to light some fire. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's that's basically what they did. They came to light some fire, man. That's they 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 burning, man. They doing they doing that thing. You know what I'm saying? Number five, uh, hashtag LL Big B featuring Big B DMG. Um, this is one of uh JR's older like a friend of his. He passed away recently. So uh first let me just say RIP to Big B the boss. Um he's a fellow MC, friend. And I bet, you know, a uh, close friend and maybe a relative. I'm not sure. I, um, but this was dedicated. It's a dedicated record to the brother. And um, when you have fallen MCs, you have to honor them. And this is one of the songs that he's doing so. And I'm loving it. I'm loving JR. JR's young too, man. And he's got a heart of gold. He's already dedicating albums and records and songs to people that he loved. Um, so, oh. Man, today too, man. Uh, oh man, there's a lot of if another. Speaking of fallen MCs, uh, R.I.P. the Young Dolph. Um, man, I, I wasn't a, a huge fan of Young Dolph, but he's a black man, and he shouldn't have left, uh, lost his life at that young age. It's just, it's just sad. Protect yourself, man. Protect the, the black men out there. Protect the black women out there. Please stop the violence. What are you guys shooting for? What are you guys killing for? I don't even know. If if nobody didn't kill my moms. Or, like, do something really insane. I'm not doing nothing. Like, nothing's worth killing somebody. Nothing's worth your life. You know what I'm saying? So, cut it out, man. I, I I don't even know what else to say. But anyway, number six, last joint. But before you, before I go into number six, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Um, and share, man. This, I do this for free. Support if you can. Yo, everything on my line, everything on my clothing line is 30% off. Promo code B-A-S-S. -S, all the way to the end of this month only. End of this month. November. That's it. All right. Number six. Uh, foregone. Very soulful song with singer almost over populating uh, the track. There's a singer on there. It's like a soulful jazz type of singer. And it's it's kind of like the the, the, the the first track. It kind of like the music seems higher than the MC's uh, verses. So, but... Listen, JR's lyrics pierces do anything, especially if he's lyrical, and he is. He's uh, dope to the ears, you know what I'm saying? So, very soulful song, like I said. Uh, JR's verse pierces through with uh, his heavy uh, word, quotable bars, man. And uh, shout out to 2021 Outliers Entertainment. That's who uh, created, that's who uh, produced and created this project. That's the uh, company. So, listen, man. Short six pack, short EP, JR. We're waiting for the album. You know I'm waiting for the album. Listening club, I'm waiting. Hopefully it drops this year. If not, I got patience. I'll wait till next year. You know what I'm saying? But yo, we coming back from Wilson, North Carolina, man. Visiting JR. I'm not sure where Clipto Beats are is from, but Clipto, let me know so I can put it in the next review. Cause guess what? I know your name's going to be in my next review or coming up in the future. So, yo, man, this is Marky Walker, man. And y'all remember, man, love over hate, man. Especially with this shooting and stuff going on. Stop killing each other. I don't even know what else to say, man. 
I'm just getting tired of all these MCs losing their lives, getting tired of people in general, black men especially, losing their lives. Y'all got to do something about it. We got to do something about it. Love over hate. Let's preach it. Let's preach it. Let's preach it. Let's hashtag it. Stop playing. This is Marky Walker from Boston, man. Bean Town, stop playing, man. One love.